Sakai's dream was that of riding a photon and look at the universe as it were, being a pencil of light. Now, with the uh, quantum mechanics and with the, the new tools we have to use light, we can go beyond Einstein's dream. We can ride a photon and understand how the universe can be seen in that perspective and how we can use those knowledge coming from physics, from modern physics, to have a better control of the environment and have more and more knowledge about the universe itself. An example outside, which is the twisted parabolic antenna. It looks like an, a normal parabolic antenna, a normal dish that you use for satellites. But if you look, it is broken and folded like a spiral staircase. The electromagnetic wave has the property of reminding this shape and it propagates in space. So if you put two antennas and uh, you calculate the exact defacing of this uh, twisted uh, propagation, it is like a fusilli in pasta. If you catch the right shape of the fusilli, for example, like a screw coming inside, you can tell one type of twist from another, or if you don't have a twist. So uh, the antenna, for example, a normal antenna sends um, a wave that propagates without any information. It is like a bubble expanding. Instead, here we have a fusilli pasta like that moves and propagates in space. So we can use those two inform this information, additional information, uh, to, di to discriminate two or more channels. And this is a quite interesting concept because uh, instead of using intensity or uh, wavelength when you tune a radio, or uh, polarization, which is another degree of freedom that we use outside, there are many more degrees of freedom. I don't want to scare you, but uh, Fushchich and Nikitin, two Soviet uh, Union physicists, uh, discovered more than 84 conserved quantities in the uh, equations made by Maxwell. Those equations describe all the phenomena that uh, involve light, compass, and uh, flashlight from storms, etc., etc. So this is something new. We are starting to use it also in nanotechnology, or we did also a crazy experiment years ago in San Marco in Venice to demonstrate uh, that those waves propagate in space and do not dissolve in nothing. That's why it could be interesting to use this tool also to explore the universe more in detail and realize Einstein's dream and our dreams. Yeah.